uh, the lens that we look through is typically as a fiduciary on the board or as an investor. And so we're trying to optimize for what's the right thing for the company to increase the statistical likelihood of success for that particular business to become a standalone enduring company. And along that journey, it's going to go through different phases and the company's going to evolve. And the leaders that are well suited to be resourceful and scrappy and find funding in the early stages of a company, call it the, uh, the angel money, friends and family, the institutional seed or the Series A investment in a venture-backed company because you don't always have to raise venture capital, um, are oftentimes uh, lending themselves to very different skills to when a company is maturing through the expansion capital phase, scaling and becoming a growth equity business with a line of sight to becoming a public company, for example. Um, and if founders have a set of skills that are well-suited for the early stage but not the late stage, we take a hard look at at the management team and we take a hard look at ourselves as investors. First and foremost, what we spend time thinking about is, uh, is that founder's ability to contribute to the original vision and motivation of the company still integral to the success of the business? And if it is, maybe that founder would be better suited in a chief scientist role, chief medical officer role, chief architect role, uh, chief creative officer role, a role where they can provide guidance and vision and their handprint is still on the company while we bring in a professional operator to help scale the company. And oftentimes they're dual roles. They're on the board and they have a CXO role that we've sort of carved out and defined for them. So if you can utilize the expertise of that particular founder to stay involved in the company and help navigate the ship, it's, it's really helpful. But the execution and operating sophistication required to manage teams and inspire people and the discipline required at scaling a company looks very different than the scrappy early stage entrepreneur and so that management shift is something we always anticipate inside companies.